but I'm gonna buy everything. Okay. It's too good of a deal for me not to. You know, and you sound like a nice guy. <laughs> so. The bases are loaded, two men are out. It's the tying run at the plate. Paul Lair is there. He's flying the center, struck out and top is short. Nolan Ryan is through the pitch. Can I kick it off? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Over the Years Sports. It is bright and early Saturday morning, and we are at the Westminster Sports Card Show. Uh, we're super excited. We're about ready to walk in uh, and see what we can find. So hopefully we can find some awesome treasures in the bargain boxes, pick up some cool cards. But don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Let's get this show on the road, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be a fun day. So about 9 a.m. We'll be here probably till about three o'clock or until we look through every single bargain box at the show. See you guys inside. Good morning, how are you? Good, thanks. thanks, how are you? Good. Thank you very Just much. Hand. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, he's welcome. This is me and Tyler stuff that we haven't priced. And I was wondering if you wanted that whole thing, you can look through it for like 15, 20 bucks. Okay. I probably won't even have to look through it. I could probably just trust you. Well, it's up to you. I'm dead serious, but we have value boxes too. But this stuff is all, I mean, there's base, but there's chrome too. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's everything Tyler Ripton gave to me. So. Okay. <laughs> all right. I don't want to do it. But well, you can look through that too. Okay, cool. So I'll be back. I'll sit down and take a look at all that stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at our first stop of the day. After saying what's up to our friends over at Bel Air Sports Cards, big shout out to Morgan and Tyler. Appreciate it. Always great to see you both. So this was a bunch of dollar uh, boxes. I believe uh, they were separated by rookies and something else. But all top loaded, which I always you know appreciate. Um, but not separated by team or anything like that. I will tell you, though, that the, the uh, guy who was sitting at this... Uh, setup was super awesome first car we put down gabriel gonzalez first bowman mojo definitely a guy to keep your eye out for uh was a seattle mariners prospect and was traded to the minnesota twins in the jorge polanco deal so i've been picking up a lot of gabriel gonzalez when i find them speaking of picking up a lot of is colson montgomery a uh, top 15 prospect in all of baseball right now i believe if i'm not mistaken number nine uh, so I'm buying all his stuff. Up next was this O'Neill Cruz International Inc. Uh, I think O'Neill Cruz is super undervalued right now. I feel like a lot of people forgot about him because he got injured last year. But he is definitely um, on the rise, in my opinion. Uh, he is Ellie De La Cruz. He was Ellie De La Cruz before Ellie De La Cruz. So definitely buying a lot of him. Roman Anthony is another guy I'm also picking up. He is shooting up the top 100 prospect list. So definitely a huge buyer right there and then here i picked up some 25 cent cards some mojos um and a jefferson cuero another prospect for the milwaukee brewers that i'm keeping an eye out for but 
gotta love 25 cent boxes you can find a lot of good mojos and stuff like that for bowman in there uh so i did pick up i think a nice little handful of 25 cent cards at uh this first stop of the show so definitely was super stoked and excited really nice uh vendor uh took care of me worked out a deal yeah probably like 12 bucks sounds fair to me I didn't even count. I trust you. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it was like 17 or 18 bucks. First worth. stop of the day is when it starts like that. It's good conversation. Yep. Good boxes. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate a start to my day like that. Yeah. Reach all the markets. And I found you some good uh, cards that were mixed great, in there. <laughs> great. That's what I'm saying. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Thank sir. Thank you. Sorry, I don't have no bags on me. No, nah, no, nah, you're good. I, I'll, I Listen, if you dig through boxes, you come prepared. <laughs> so this next stop had a couple of different style boxes. It had a 1-3, I think it was 1-3-4 box or something like that. And then a $5 box and then a $10 box. Uh, but they definitely ended up working out a deal with me, so... I was being a little cautious here. There was some really nice football stuff mixed in here too that I, I should have picked up. <laughs> but I'm focused and focused on Drew Waters. He is a guy that I kind of like. I thought he, you know, he's been a little bit held back by injuries, but definitely a guy I like. This Alec Bomb though, case hit, rookie card number to 25. Always be on the lookout for cards that might be numbered that, you know, find their way into these bargain boxes that was a case hit number to 25 rookie card of alec bomb so the listing that i put up on the screen is actually my listing there were not a lot of sold comps recently of those so i picked that up and was super excited about that find up next we find a jordan walker um put him into the pile very cool you know find a rookie card color not asking a lot he's another guy whose value kind of went down a little bit um unless it's a certain card but definitely a guy i'm keeping an eye out for another colson montgomery love me colson montgomery right now uh his stuff is still reasonably priced so i think it's a good buy in my opinion if you can find the right colson montgomery's uh so we did pick up that colson montgomery colored it gets really tough in these boxes sometimes like this carson williams first refractor i really liked he's a high prospect a guy i kind of got my eye out on but I am a sucker for game use patches. This was a Reese Hoskins uh, triple patch um, out of triple threads. It was all game use and it was numbered. Very dope card. Uh, so I picked up that Reese Hoskins. Anytime I can find good game use patches in bargain boxes, I usually grab them. So definitely a crazy pickup coming up right here. Julio Rodriguez 2020, number to 299. I could not believe my eyes when I found that in this box. This this was some really nice cards in the bargain boxes here at this uh, first stop. Uh, so I ended up uh, picking up uh, all these cards right here. I got a really good deal. I think I paid 20 bucks for the lot. 27 here. But if you could give me any room on that, you let me know. I know. G20? Yeah. All right. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank, Thank you very you. much, sir. This next stop had a 25 cent box, so I picked up some Volpe, Logan O'Hop, Morrell, Owen Casey, James Altman, Vaughn Grissom, uh, Myro Shendrick, uh, Martinez for the Dodgers, all out of the 25 cent box. Picked up a couple of dollar cards, James Wood Mojo, and a Mason Miller um, Ghost short print parallel. So those were all like just immediately as soon as i pulled into the box there's a lot of these orange and black and ghost parallels um in this box i i probably should have just grabbed all of them um but you know i did end up picking through a few that i thought were of guys that i kind of like you know right now uh but definitely a nice mixture of stuff here in the dollar box 25 cent box was really good too uh, gotta love 25 cent and dollar boxes for sure. Yeah. 
Here's where we picked up some. Jared Schuster, Casey Schmidt, Matt Burvis, and Taj Bradley. All black and orange uh, foils. Uh, so we picked up all of those. Sal Frelick is a guy I really like from Milwaukee Brewers. That Bowman's Best Heat Wave is one of my favorite inserts. Um, I, I just I wish they'd bring it back. I love that. So I ended up getting this stack of 25 cents and uh, dollar cards. Uh, I think it was, I can't even remember how much it was exactly, yeah, right? but uh, <laughs> cheap, cheap bargain deals. I see a Suzuki in there as well. We put them on colored Bowman cards, so love a good 25 cent dollar box. Fine. Over 25 and those are dollars. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's cool, but it's like, it's, I mean, it's a good story. <laughs> First card we find out of this stack of 2020 Bowman stuff is Tink Hens. He is a guy that I'm picking up anytime I find him. He does not have a lot of cards. There's a lot of good guys from 2020 to keep your eye out for. Tink Hens being one of them. Um, obviously, Jordan Walker is in here. Pete Crow Armstrong. Um, Colt Keith. Uh, Evan Carter. Thomas Agassi, who we just picked up right there. Uh, there are so many names in 2020 that are just amazing. I think I already said Colt Keefe is in 2020. Colt Keefe and and Evan Carter are two guys I'm really just trying to find out of this product. Mason Wynn from 2020. So uh, Drew Romo is another guy who I just picked up right there. So a lot of guys in this 2020 uh, across all the different releases in Bowman from 2020. If you can find a stack of 2020 Bowman cards, always look through them you never know what you might find in those stack of 2020 bowmans don't matter get people in the show Oh, there goes an Owen Casey. Just picked that up out this 2020 stack. Like I said, I mean, Austin Wells has a first Bowman in that 2020 product. So definitely grab some good first Bowmans out of that bargain box. Now we're moving into the price as marked box. Uh, so these all kind of ranged in prices from as low as like $3. William Bagola first Bowman mojo all the way up to like, you know, $15, $20. So it, there's a lot of really good stuff that I went through in these boxes. But once again, we're on a budget. We're trying to, you know, find cards for good value like this. Yanquil Fernandez, first Bowman Chrome Mojo. He's a guy I'm buying, buying, buying. Uh, if you look at his statistics from last year, he absolutely crushed. So definitely picking up any Yanquil Fernandez's that I can find. This is a Grant McRae, first Bowman Sapphire from 2019. He's a guy that you don't see a lot of listed right now. Uh, I think he put up some pretty good stats in the San Francisco Giants farm system last year. So anytime I come across him, I try to pick up his stuff. Uh, there's some really nice Josue de Paula's mixed in here and some other Dodger prospects. But once again, like I'm looking for the value. That's what's super important here. James Trianto's first pink mojo. Uh, that, that's a guy that I'm kind of high on. Spencer Jones, that was a paper, so it was a little bit um, out of my price range to pay for a paper uh, to $4.99. But we're going to keep going through these boxes because even though these are not necessarily dollar cards or 25 cent cards, there's definitely still value in these prices as marked boxes, including this Zach Neto crater that we picked up. Uh, not a lot of sold, but uh, one listed for $16.99 right now. He's a guy I think a lot of people forget about because he got called up so early after his uh, draft class. Bowman Sapphires. Bowman Sapphires are just so highly sought after. Picked up a whole suede of Paula Sapphire right there. So anytime I can find cheap sapphires, I usually pick them up. Shim, pitcher for the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. A lot of people are high on him. I get a lot of um, requests for him, so I pick that up. But you got to love sapphires. Always look through the sapphires. You never know what kind of bargains you might find in a stack of Bowman Sapphire cards. Uh, like that Luis Angel Acuna color match in the Mets uniform. Uh, he was traded from the uh, Texas Rangers. And then, you know, we just keep digging, keep digging. Some of them are going to be priced accordingly, but we thought this was a great deal on this Chase Davis, first Bowman Sapphire. So we added that to our stack. I saw that in the beginning. That's why I, because I, I, I like to create a little bit of space so I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mess up the cards. So I, when I took that out the front, I realized that that was all, all uh, Brewers yeah, cards. From that on back, I think it's all numbered, numbered cool. baseball. It should be. Sweet. This 
box was insane. When I tell you that I probably should have bought more than what I did here, but I mean, every single card in this box was a dollar. Um, there was so much color, like in this back row, uh, you could see I've already put together a little stack uh, pile on the box. Um, not the entire box was color, but this back row was. Uh, that's a Henry Henry first Bowman gold auto paper. I mean, it was a dollar. I couldn't say no. There's a couple of cards here that are like that. That are just like, all right, it's a dollar. Like, I'm just going to pick it up. You never know who's going to like it. You know, like there could be collectors for, for all these guys. That's a Max Meyer right before we pulled this Juan Soto number to 75. The listing on the screen is our own listing. Once again, it's a card that did not have a lot of comps on it. Uh, but anytime you can find a Juan Soto numbered in a dollar box, you pick it up. We also added that Frankie uh, Francisco Alvarez uh, green paper to the pile. Sometimes you just it gets a little overwhelming when you find a great box like this. You really want to try your best to, to pull out the cards that you think have the best value. Uh, Brett Beatty to 99 because it's easy to just want to buy all of these cards at a dollar. But when you're working on a budget, it's important to be selective. This Lord Lordis Guriel uh, had a great year with the Arizona Diamondbacks last year at a stadium club. That card was numbered, so we added that to the pile as well. They all go the Donner's face. But I was selling it for $8 or $10. Of course, they're going to sell it for $15 or $30. Getting close to the end of this uh, all numbered section. That was a Marco Luciano. I think this is finally the year that he, uh, you know, takes that step forward. He does have a lot of cards because he's been a prospect for a while, uh, but that was a blue mojo, so I couldn't pass that up. I put that in my pile, uh, numbered to 150. Uh, I, and I sold a lot of my Marco Luciano already, so I'm trying to like kind of restock on him before the season goes. And that is a gold Pedro Leon uh, who got involved invited to Astros uh, spring training. Then we picked up that Francisco Alvarez blue shimmer followed by a Yadier Molina numbered card. Uh, first ball, first ballot Hall of Famer in my opinion. So that first row was crazy. You can see we put together quite the pile. We did find a couple of other cards mixed in uh, that weren't necessarily numbered cards. Uh, but we always finished the box out. Jonathan Colasse, first Bowman Mojo. Harry Ford Shimmer, which I should have picked I up. I just saw that just now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you never know. Like you can find some good first Bowman mojos. Brian Acuna right there. Uh, just a lot of interesting stuff in this box. Like I would love to have just been like, hey, can I buy this whole box from you? But you know, one day I'll probably get there. Uh, as you can see, there's some more Colson Montgomerys here uh, in the front of that stack. Uh, I, I did end up buying quite a few Colson Montgomerys that day. So I, a card that's just a base like that, I, I was finding in 25 cent, 50 cent boxes. So that's why I didn't grab that one right there. But yeah, this is this is what I live for. Boxes like this, I live for this. You can tell the guys are used to it. The way you flip them. This was quite possibly the best bargain box of the entire show. So I think it was 15. What was it? It was 30 cards for 15 dollars. And he had it organized by teams, uh, which I absolutely love. And it was loaded. When I say loaded, I mean absolutely loaded with numbered cards, parallels, uh, first Bowmans, all types of stuff. A couple of Trey Sweeney uh, numbered Topps Pro debut, traded from the Yankees to the Dodgers recently. I, I had such a great time digging through this box. These are the box, these last two boxes are the boxes you live for when you go bargain boxing. It's just, it's not a lot of the same stuff. Stuff like this you just don't see all the time. This Hank Aaron 2017 Bowman followed by Stan Musil 2017 Bowman. The Stan Musil was numbered to 499. There are zero comps, zero listings for that card right now. 
which is the stuff that I love. I love finding cars that don't have a lot of listings and stuff like that because it, it really allows you to kind of set the market to a certain extent with a card like that. So I was really excited to find cool cards like that. You guys know I love finding just different style cards, cards you don't see all of the time, uh, that being one of them. Uh, they there was just so many good cards in this in this uh, pile. Obviously, you know the Red Sox. I picked up that Nick York uh, numbered card. I, I mean, I just started just throwing cards into the pile. And when you come across Mookie Betts stuff too, Red Sox Mookie Betts, his stuff can be super valuable, especially like really like kind of like random cards. But this is an older 2016 Bowman Refractor. Uh, there's not a lot of those comps on that card either. Edison Paulino is a guy I'm really high on for the Boston Red Sox. So I picked up that uh, aqua lava refractor uh, of his. Uh, and you can see there's just, there's just a lot of different stuff in these. A mixture between vets and prospects, which you kind of really like to see when you're digging through bargain boxes like this. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm almost done. Okay, you're good. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm gonna buy everything. Okay. It's too good of a deal for me not to. You know, and you sound like a nice guy. You know, so. <laughs> Once we get into the Diamondback section, you know we're looking for Jordan Lawlers. Found a couple of Jordan Lawlers in uh, this pile right here we were super excited about. So a lot of cool cards, a lot of cool cards. I mean, it's just so much color, so much like numbered stuff trying to really like figure out what you're going to pick up i always pick up those world baseball you know, classic really bowman sure. cards they're numbered to 4.99 ivan melendez the hispanic titanic first bowman numbered to 150 i mean there was just a lot of good stuff in here you guys know i'm getting ready to get excited to see my colorado rockies uh i just i, I love the colorado rockies prospect so uh, their their section was loaded with some stuff as well. Show. I was that in this year for the first time. I really like that show. I love Chantilly. Really? I go to National. Well, that's my goal to go this year. I have never been to National. It's a good year to go because I feel like, um, uh, you know, Cleveland's a hell of a lot cheaper to go to than Chicago. Yeah. You know, and I could drive there. Padres section, you know we're going to find some, or we're going to try and find yeah. some uh, Zavala's and stuff like that, and some uh, um, Jackson Merrill's, there's there's a lot of uh, sleeper, you know, cards you can find in a, in a box like this for the San Diego Padres. I always love it when I find my guy, Jacob Marseille. Arizona Fall League, first Bowman Ray Wave. He was the MVP of the Arizona Fall League. So he's a guy I've been telling you guys about that I've been buying. Uh, to find him in this box was awesome way to kind of wrap things up before I get to the Colorado Rockies, uh, Seattle Manners, uh, Cole Young, Lazaro Montez cards in here. Uh, it was, I mean, when I tell you guys, there was so many cool cards. I couldn't believe it. And the, the vendor, once again, all of the vendors I dealt with at this show were absolutely phenomenal. Very, very nice. So, so that always makes the experience a lot easier, especially when you can kind of, when you're digging through boxes for so long and you're able to have a conversation with the guys, it just makes life a lot easier. But, you know, we're picking up some Tovars. We're picking up some Yanquil Fernandez's. We're picking up some Adele Amador's. All of these uh, rocky prospects that we, we love. Uh, there goes another Adele Amador. Then I think we get a Yanquil Fernandez. I mean, it was just, there was a lot of cards. I Once again, I was, I, if I had the money, I probably would have bought so many more cards. Obviously, if I find any Zach Veens or Betty Montgomery's uh, numbered, I'd probably pick those up too. I did it. You made it. I'm a little scared, but I feel like <laughs> I, I, because you start and you're like, oh yeah, you know, I'll just grab 15. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. Let's see what you got. And I just, I don't work know. Do, I'm sure. Thank you. I Appreciate you. Show. 
give it 15. Sweet. Appreciate you, boss. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from the Westminster Card Show. It was absolutely phenomenal. I hope you all enjoyed watching us dig through those bargain boxes. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you guys want to stay tuned, we'll be dropping a video in a couple of days, and we're going to take a look at every single card that we picked up during the Westminster Card Show. So we're super excited about that. Stay tuned for that video. It's going to be a lot of fun. 281 cards. We appreciate all the love and all support. As always, YouTube, stay classy. Peace.